Hello, Taylorsville Elementary. I am Andrea McMillan. I'm the principal here. Uh, many of you, I, we have known each other for now four years, um, and then there are some who have moved into our school this year. Um, during this pandemic, you may have seen me like this. However, I wanted to show you my full face while I had no students or staff around me at this time. Wanted to reach out as we're heading into a new calendar year of 2021 and to share out what we are going to be focused on for this tail end of this school year. While we really appreciate everything you do for us, parents, we just wanted to again acknowledge all that you are doing and helping us to make sure that we are in a forward motion and a forward thinking. There are some things that our students could be doing as well to continue to move this momentum. And there's things that we could be doing here as a staff to help this forward momentum. As a reminder, or if you didn't know, uh, we are working on lighting the pathway to success, lighting the way to success for El Taylorsville Elementary this year. Our teachers have been reading and focusing on and learning from a Clarity of Focus um, book that helps us to reevaluate what is it that we really need to be focused on in teaching and what are some things that we might need to give up. It's been a fun year to start off, challenging, but fun, as we go ahead and reinvent what this looks like for Taylorsville Elementary going forward. Like I said, students have their, their place in this team and this and and what we're doing and focused on so again while we appreciate what you're doing this video is to really emphasize what students could be doing and what students need to be uh, focused on going forward i'm going to go ahead and share with you um, a story that goes along with the, the uh, nursery rhyme humpty dumpty sat on a wall or humpty dumpty sat on a wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. <laughs> You've probably heard that nursery rhyme before. Uh, this story actually follows that particular um, nursery rhyme. It's called After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. And this is by um, Dan Santat, I believe is how it's called. What, what, how, how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. Um, he is a, this is a Caldecott Medal Award winning book. <clears throat> my name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It really was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together again. So even though the nursery rhyme says they couldn't, they did. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. So students, as you, as you notice, he looks a little sad. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. So he's looking at this ladder here. Maybe he wanted a bowl of cookies and he's feeling a little nervous to get up there. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds and being high above the city but I could never do it because I knew that accidents could happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground, but it just wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day I kept trying and trying until I got it right. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. 
I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. They always do. Do you see where that bird is going, his plane? Looks like it's, it's fallen here up at the top of the wall. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall, but the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. Can you see his face? He looks a little terrified. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time until I was no longer afraid. God, I went to the wall. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. and learned how to fly. So, the back of the book is my favorite line. It says, life begins when you get back up. While this pandemic has been scary and um, life-threatening for us all, and while it has been something that we have all tried to grapple with or figure out what, how, where, where it works in our lives, some of us have sort of taken a moment to just stop and reflect on what we want out of life. And some have stayed in not a forward motion, and that's okay. There's, there's no right or wrong when going through a pandemic together. What I would like for us to do, though, as a collective community, is to work on what, is, what does it look like going forward? So a few weeks ago, I sent out an email stating that all students, both distance or in person, I'd like to go ahead and create some goal setting. Goal setting is wonderful in that it gets us in a forward thinking. While right now might be scary, maybe those pandemic, maybe the COVID numbers look pretty scary, or maybe when you're looking at the numbers here at Taylorsville Elementary, that might look scary as well. But this is temporary and our feelings of being scared, they're temporary too. So, what is it that we can work on? I would like to, for us all to think of that personally. While some might want to go ahead and set goals that would be an academic, such as, I want to read so many more words a minute, or I want to have my accuracy on my reading be you know, X amount or a percentage, that's great but some aren't there yet, and that's okay. Focus on what it is that we, you need to do to be able to improve, and then what we can do together as a community to support you. We're here for you, and we love you. So some goals could be, I want to make a new friend. Some could be, I wanna go ahead and read five books this month. Or I want to learn how to um, go across the monkey bars uh, on the playground. I want to beat Mr. Smith in a foot race. <laughs> All of those things would be super great. The academics are great too. Either way, goal setting is gonna go ahead and get us in a forward motion. And if we collectively work on those goals together, that will strengthen this community. I'm gonna go ahead and um, share what we have now with our, um, what we have on our board so far, heading into 2021, and we're excited to see more of those stars come out. If you are a distance learner and you choose to come back third quarter, let's get you a star back up on that board right now. If you are a distance learner and are cho choosing to stay out still, that's okay. We'll continue to, to support you. We'll continue to teach you. We'll continue to love you from a distance. 
and uh, we would love for you to stop by and get that star so we can get your goals aligned with ours. Parents, we would love to see your support in this as well. Perhaps you guys could set a goal as a family. Perhaps you could just support your child in their goals and, and ask them how those are going. Please reach out to us. We are here. We love you. We love our students. We love our jobs. We love this community. And we want to be able to support you in any way we possibly can. So please reach out anytime. I hope all is well. I hope you are healthy. And I hope we can set ourselves into a really great forward motion for 2021. Have a great day.